All right, guys, I got my Cub Cadet ZT150 here, and I have a two-post lift, so I'm trying to figure out how to lift this thing up. There's got to be a way. Uh, I have one idea that I'm going to try right now. Let's see if it works. Idea number one is like this. I haven't tried it yet, but we got the front arms out here, and I have these pads on here. There is a little bit of a cross member in the back that will just barely make contact with my robo pad here. And on this side, there's no cross member. Uh, it looks like my arm is gonna make a little bit of contact with the frame right before the pad makes contact with this front frame, but that's fine. It's just gonna give uh, support in two places, so. That shouldn't be a problem. The idea in the back here is I'm using these uh, frame style guys. And because this is curved here and slightly curved all the way in the back, um, I could try to grab it on the back, but I think what I'm gonna do, because this is uh, flatter up here, I think what I'm gonna try to do is raise the front a little bit um, so that this will be high enough. Slide it under here, out of the way of the wheel, because the uh, wheel is in the way, so I can't grab it there. So, let me see what happens. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, so the front is being lifted. This is what it looks like here. So I pull this up to unlock my arm so I can rotate it here. Slide it out some. Uh, still got to raise it some more before that will work. Uh, just want to kind of go slow and see what's happening around here. So. This pad isn't making contact yet. Just under the frame over here. And all right, so the wheel is free, so we can slide that out of the way. And uh, this arm isn't even quite making contact the way this is up right now. So, all right, let's go a little higher. So this guy is now making contact with this frame and uh, lifting it some, but I want to stick that in a little further first. All right, so my issue is the front arms are great. The rear arms, one of them can reach and the other one that's extended as far as it goes. It can't quite reach, so so if I move the mower forward a little bit so that I can get this arm at a straight 90 degree, we might just have enough room. So let me try that. All right, so I learned that, uh, first of all, I have to have this directly in the center of my lift where my line is. And then if that's the case, and these are almost 90 degrees, I can extend it all the way out and get them both to fit under this rail. So like I said, originally my goal was to grab it up here, um, but maybe I'll just grab it here because the weight will push this thing back and this will uh, make contact with the tire and it'll stop it from sliding and it'll wedge itself in here nicely, I think. So I can just uh, swing these front arms back over, pull this out. Let's see how these line up now. Right. So this one should make nice, clean contact right here. And let's see over here. 
Again, this front one is a little trickier because it has uh, more stuff under this front rail for this pedal here, so there's more stuff to interfere with, but uh, I should be able to slide it here and make pretty clean contact down here. All right, so let's try this a second time. <laughs> So the first point of contact is uh, over here on this side, under that frame. I think it's the only place making contact so far. Let's keep going. All right, so both of the rears are in place. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna work very nicely. Let me just uh, double check. Oh yeah, that is. Perfectly flat and sturdy. Can't move that at all. This one is uh, making a little contact on the pad there. You can see with that uh, little cross member under there. But that is some solid steel. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. So that's. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, that loud click is my uh, locks. But yes. All right. Looks fantastic. Let me raise this up all the way. Get ready for the clicks. <laughs> So now we have really good access to all this crap that I want to clean out and make this thing nice because I just did my last mow for the year, I hope. And uh, when I want to change blades and belts, I now have really good access. So let's come under here. You can see all three blades. And uh, yeah, let's clean this thing up. But I just want to show you from the front, we have it lifted, so that is uh, really cool. So if you have any other tips for uh, lifting one of these mowers on a two-post lift, please let me know in the comments below, or if this was helpful, let me know, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, I got a bunch of uh, Cub Cadet maintenance videos and I'll keep making them. So thanks for watching guys.